welcome back to my channel so this video is the continuation of flutter animation series until now we have created our background card and started putting pieces together as you can see that we have a circle in the mid of card but we want it to animate just like in this video but before that we have to set gradient to this circle and place image on it so without any further delay let's start coding so first of all all we need is to remove this color and after that uh, we have to give gradient to this container uh, for gradient uh, we will use uh, linear gradient as we have done before we have to pass array of colors which we want uh, for this purpose we will be using colors dot blue uh, with shade of 500 after null safety update in flutter we have to add exclamation mark at the end of color value when we whenever we are using shade value and as far as the second color goes we will be using colors dot purple uh, with the shade value of 300 now we have to remove this constant uh, from box decoration to get rid of this error. Now if we have organized our code and uh, reload our project, you can see that uh, the colors are perfectly aligned inside the circle. Now what we need is we need to add image in front of this circle. Uh, for that purpose we will wrap this container inside a uh, column and rename it to stack. Uh, as we uh, want to fill the whole space in the stack, we will use the widget position dot fill. And inside position dot fill uh, child widget we will pass the same image asset widget with the same path of our asset image. And now if we reload our project, uh, you can see that uh, the picture is perfectly aligned inside the circle. So image is uh, perfectly aligned inside the circle, uh, but the circle is not in the center of our card. Uh, to resolve this, we can wrap our text widget uh, inside a padding widget and we will give it a, a padding only to the bottom of 32 pixels. Now if we reload our project, you can see that the circle is right in the center of the card. Uh, in, inside this container, we are going to animate the color, so there will be a lot of code. Uh, so to make our code uh, more readable, uh, we can extract this flutter widget and uh, we will give it a name of custom um, circle view. Now if by refactoring this code, we make it easy for us uh, so that after we want to make any changes, we can easily open the file and we can replace the code. Uh, for this purpose, we, in the components directory, we will create a new Dart file with the name of custom circle uh, view. And inside this file, we will place that code. And to get rid of this, uh, get rid of these errors, uh, we have to import material library. So all the errors are gone in this file. So let's get back to card view file and import custom circle view here. Let's add cost constant in the start to remove these warnings. Uh, so now let's move to custom circle view file. Uh, so first of all, we have to convert this uh, stateless widget into stateful widget uh, because we are going to change state uh, when we are animating our colors. Uh, we have to extend our state class with single ticker provider state mixin. Uh, even uh, we are not animating uh, uh, the colors, we are only using the duration. We have to add uh, this ticker provider. Now we are we are going to define the variables. Uh, first, we will define animation controller, and uh, we are not going to initialize this now. So for that purpose, we are going to use late in the start of our, our variable declaration. And second variable will be a boolean with the name of underscore is animated gradient and we will set it to false. Now uh, we have to override our init state function. <clears throat> Basically init state function what it does is whenever this widget will be called the code inside the init state widget uh, will be uh, run first, will run first. And now inside the init state we have to override the super dot init state uh, function. And after that, uh, we will initialize our animation controller. And uh, in, inside animation controller vsync, we are going to pass uh, this uh, that represents uh, this uh, state class uh, ticker provider uh, that, uh, through which we extended our class uh, at the top. Now after that, uh, we are going to uh, pass the duration. Uh, after uh, the duration here represents uh, that after how much time we want to animate so here we will pass a duration of one second uh, that means we want to animate our colors after every uh, one second and now we will add a listener uh, by adding listener uh, after every one second uh, we can trigger our animation controller and uh, do some functionality uh, with it uh, so for that purpose we have to use set state uh, set state is basically used when we want to change the state of our some uh, variable or a widget 
so in our case uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use the animation controller dot value and check if the value is less than uh, 0.5 if the value is less than 0.5 uh, then automatically for the variable is animated gradient uh, the true value uh, uh, will be uh, declared and now uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, repeat this step after after every one second so for that purpose we are going to use animation controller dot repeat and inside repeat we are going to use reverse and set it to true uh, so now we have initialized our animation controller but what uh, if we change our screen or if we uh, change our widget uh, for that purpose uh, we are going to override another method uh, with the name of dispose and inside uh, dispose we will call the super dot dispose first and after that uh, we will uh, do the animation controller uh, dot dispose uh, which will delete our animation controller so that's it for now in the next video we will use animated builder inside our build method then all the code what we have done will make more sense uh, so please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel we will complete the remaining application in the upcoming videos thank you so much